Sorry. Hello, everybody. My name is Fernando Otero. I am a fifth grade teacher at Oscar Loya Elementary, and I would like to welcome you to my desert ecosystem presentation. I would like to start by describing my desert ecosystem. The desert ecosystem is one third the world's surface. Um, it also only rains about 10 inches every year. Here I have shared with you two pictures of what a desert ecosystem looks like. On the right hand side, you can see some producers in there. Uh, they look like to be saguaro um, cacti. And on the left hand side, the picture shows the terrain um, other producers in there, and also it shows rocks. Now I would like to talk about some of the abiotic resources that the desert ecosystem has. Some of the desert's non-living resources in a desert ecosystem include sunlight, nutrient-poor soil, and also rocks. Here we have three examples abiotic resources in the desert ecosystem. Producers are my next topic to talk about. Um, in the desert ecosystem, cactus are the main producer. Uh, they are important because they support the entire ecosystem and without them, the organisms that live there, animals and plants will not be able to survive. Here's another picture of a saguaro um, cactus, and, and here are other um, producers found in the desert. Now, consumers. There are three different kinds of consumers in the desert ecosystem. We have primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers. Uh, for a primary consumer, um, we have a rodent. Secondary consumer is a kit fox, and a tertiary consumer is a desert owl. Um, decomposers that exist in the, in the desert ecosystem, they are known as the great recyclers. They decomposers help the desert system recycle matter back to the environment, um, such that are fungi and bacteria. Here's an example of... Um, fungus and bacteria that live in the desert. That would conclude my presentation for the desert ecosystem. I hope you like it.